look as we all see the country is also moving ahead and many things are changing in this country uh, so obviously the food and the cuisine would uh, kind of evolve because the mindset of people are changing the ingredients and raw material has changed we're probably th now putting more effort and energy to find the right ingredient the right source the right vegetables the right meat the the provenance of products where it is coming from if it's pesticide free if it's natural if it's organic so all that thought process have started coming in people's mind right now so when we buy things we want to know what we are buying when we're cooking we want to see if we are cooking the right method of way or not so really the the uh, the knowledge about food has changed uh, over the last few years it's got better so obviously the cuisine has also got improved and that's why you will see a great uh, now surge of indian food worldwide actually Look, earlier the menus were primarily names of dishes. Now what we have started doing, especially for restaurants and hotels, we pay a lot of effort in terms from the time a guest walks in, the surrounding, the atmosphere, so the look and feel, the smell, the, the things of whether it's a live kitchen, the food you're smelling, or it's an aroma of a flower, or a perfume that has been sprayed. So all of those things are really now planned. If you go into an Asian space, it smells Asian because the perfume or the aroma is planned for that. So all these things were earlier not there. Now people are thinking a lot. The mental mapping of things have become very critical. The flowers that you use in a European restaurant to the flowers that you use in an Asian restaurant is different. The decor, the color scheme, the material, the crockery cutlery, everywhere there's a connection. Everybody is trying to tell a story into this food. So because of the story becoming well-rounded, food has become far more of an experience today than just eating to satisfy your stomach. My restaurants, primarily I try to make them fun. Because you know you uh, you always uh, will enjoy good food, but at the same time you don't want to be always sit in a very serious stiff surrounding and eat good food. You know you also want energy, you want so want laughter. Good food is a lot about the experience. Who are you eating with? Are you enjoying? Uh, are you laughing? Are you having a good conversation? The same food eaten alone is probably not that exciting if you can share it with friends and family. So I try to keep my restaurants great, fun and interesting, casual, uh, full of laughter, full of uh, uh, full of energy. Try to do things. Uh, to make the place more lively. So that's always been my thing that whether it's the color or the furniture or the location that I choose, I try to keep my restaurant very lively and bright and welcoming and warm. So it's almost like you're coming home and you're sitting and eating with your family. So I try to recreate that warmth into my restaurants.